A chaotic and deadly scene in a Newport News neighborhood. Gunfire takes down two people in a van, but it doesn't stop there. Police showed up, forced the forced to open fire on the suspect in the latest officer involved shooting in Hampton Roads. It's been a busy day for police in two cities as well as state police for two separate incidents. Starting in Newport News, police will have to investigate one of their own officers. There are two scenes in this investigation. It started on 14th Street and Wickham Avenue on the East End. Minutes later and just blocks away on Roanoke is where police say they found their man. Chopper 10 shows the investigation moments after it began. The most haunting image, a crash van where the victims were found. The suspects shot by officers remain in the hospital as police piece together the deadly chain of events tonight. Ten of your sides, Matt Gregory was first on the scene and he's live now with the latest. Matt. Tom and Nicole, like you just said, one of those suspects is in the hospital tonight. The other police say is still on the run as police investigate how and why someone shot two men in the van. But a witness I spoke to says he saw it all happen. In the middle of the day, in the middle of Wickham Avenue, I want to the city, really. police found two men shot to death inside this silver van. You hear about it all over Newport News and other areas, but you don't expect it somehow to come that close to home. Jim Bradley lives nearby. He saw what police initially saw, a silver van that crashed into a vehicle. When I come back to go home, the street is blocked. I think it was somebody just had an accident. And when I got out, the people tell me that it's uh, been some shooting. But it was much more than that. A witness who refused to give his identity or be interviewed told us he saw two suspects also inside the van shoot the men, then run from the scene. A witness pointed out to a subject that was fleeing from the scene. Um, and there was also a description that was given. And then this officer and sergeant came in contact with a person matching that description um, a few minutes later. A few blocks away, Newport News officers shot the suspect on Roanoke Avenue. We are looking for a possible second suspect. We have a very vague uh, description, a uh, black male with a blue jacket. It wasn't until hours later neighbors like Jim Bradley could go home. People just don't, um, they don't look out for each other like it was when I was a child. A neighborhood gripped by a morning of fear. Now, as far as those two officers involved, I asked police, were they wearing body cameras? They said yes. Now, as to whether or not the cameras were on, police couldn't give me an answer on that. Tonight, we are working to find out what the status of those two officers is, are, and we're also working to find out the status of the suspect who is now in the hospital. And when we get those answers, we'll bring them to you here and on wavy.com. I'm Matt Gregory in Newport News, 10 on your side. Minutes after the shootings happened, many of you helped us tell the story as our crews got to the scene. If you see news happen and it's safe to do so, take a picture or video and then send it to report it at wavy.com.